I mean, um, I thought the defense came out, played very well. In the first half, you know, they just had the one touchdown there at the, the two minute spot. You know, we gave them the, the ball on the first turnover. Uh, to, to me, the games was about the giveaways. You know, um, it's 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 unacceptable. Our, our last two home games, we've had ten giveaways. You can't you can't you can't win games at any level like that. Um, to be in there at halftime in a one score game and to go out there and turn that ball over uh, three times that that's you know so we 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 have to. You know, we need to make some adjustments. Or I mean, it's you know, it's the same thing happened to Detroit. The game gets away from you, and you can't get back into it. So, um, yeah, I'm 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 disappointed. I'm sure you know, as I'm sure everybody is. Phil, I'll say Dallas. Can you just talk about Cooper's game? There was not a lot down the field. What was the? You know, obviously most things were close to the line of scrimmage. Was there not enough time to go down the field? Did you just talk about how he played and. Well, um, I, I think it was. You know, Evan, I, I think the. Game we wanted to play was the 15 play drive, you know, and, and really just try to capitalize off our our defense. Um, you know, just like anything, you always feel like you have a good plan. Um, it, the guys, the men have had a good week weeks of work. Um, you know, we got the big turnover there down there, um, tight in the red area, and, and you know didn't convert it to seven points. Um, but you know, the 15 play drive and then turning the ball over, you know, that that that, that was a that was definitely a gut shot for us. Um, but. You know that's 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 the game that I was trying to play. You know we we had some shots down the field, um, but yeah I, we didn't we didn't run it good enough and we obviously didn't pass protect good enough. We didn't throw good enough. I didn't call plays good enough. But you know I, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. You can't you can't win not taking care of the damn ball. I mean that's you can't you you can't sugarcoat that anyway. Five turnovers it's just it's unacceptable. Yeah. Uh, Tim Kalachaw, Dallas Morning News. What do you see for Trey Lance moving forward? Uh, how he, I know he played very little, but in terms of starting games, yeah, it's a good question. We're not there yet. You know, I mean, I, we had a package for him. I, 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 you know, we wanted to get him into the flow of the game. Was was the thought process coming in here? Um, so, and, the, and then to get him in when we did, you know, and then I took him out on the third down. Just, you know, I, I just I just believe in you know reps. I mean, there's th th that third down segment there. You know, I, not that he couldn't run the plays. I just I, I didn't want to put him in there. Something that he, you know, hadn't had a lot of reps in. So, um, so I put Cooper back in uh, for that play after that, you know, for third down we had to fumble, the turnover there. Um, so, uh, but you know, we'll, you know, it's something we'll obviously discuss tomorrow. The team in a situation. Well, I'm just um, frustrated like everybody else is, but uh, uh, since I had a lot to do with what we're seeing, then uh, it's the uh, uh, proper proper frustration as far as I'm concerned that. Uh, uh, we're just uh, not playing in a way, especially when you play a team that uh, is the caliber of teams that we're playing out here. And, uh, Philadelphia's a high-caliber team, and uh, we're not up to them. And um, that's uh, troubling, and uh, uh, we've uh, got to look at all the things that uh, have happened. But uh, we, uh, I'll just say this right now, five turnovers over the last two games. And I don't know what we're drinking in the third quarter as we come out, but it's... Uh, uh, not working. Jerry, can you can you confirm that Dak will have season-ending surgery? I won't know because we're still evaluating. Do you have still have hope for this season that things can turn around? Well, listen, I don't even understand not having hope. Now we've got uh, what eight more ball games. Uh, if you'll help me with my arithmetic here, since I can't uh, do some other things right. So, uh, bottom line is that we've got eight ball games. Uh, that used to be 80% of a college season. That's a lot of football left. We've got a lot uh, to uh, work on that we can do better than that. But um, we're within striking distance as we came out uh, for the third quarter. And that's very disappointing that uh, we done all the things we did and end up uh, with a game like that. If Dak cannot come. Hello, everybody. Welcome in here to the Truth Serum, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the post-game press conferences all around the National Football League today. Be sure to click that like button, give us a thumbs up. If you're brand new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. Everybody, the 1 p.m. window for the league today was absolutely wild. The 4 o'clock games, not so much. 
not so much in terms of the 4 p.m. games today as the L.A. Chargers defeated the Tennessee Titans pretty handily, 27-17 to the final score for that game. A very businesslike showing for the L.A. Chargers and Justin Herbert. Quentin Johnston with another receiving touchdown for the Chargers, the former first-round wide receiver pick, really finally showing off the talent and the pedigree of why he was a first-round pick. Chargers win that game pretty handily. They're now 6-3 and three on the year, and they are starting to really form a foundation to get a pretty good stranglehold on a wild-card spot. Also going on in the 4 p.m. window, Eagles and the Cowboys went exactly as we thought it would. Philadelphia just taking Dallas to the woodshed. Cowboys going to fall to 0-4 at home. Jalen Hurts playing good football, efficient football. Threw for two touchdowns through the air, 202 yards passing. Also ran for two more touchdowns on the ground. An easy day for Saquon Barkley. Only had to carry the ball 14 times. Keep him fresh for what is upcoming next for Philadelphia. And folks, Dallas, it got so bad in the second half, so bad, that Trey Lance is in the game and playing quarterback. Kenny Pickett came in for Philadelphia to give the big guns a breather. Massive help. Massive help to the Eagles that they're able to rest their starters here in the fourth quarter because their next game is four days from now, Thursday night, against the Washington Commanders with first place in the NFC East on the line. Eagles get a laugher. Commanders lost by a point and in a heartbreaking fashion this afternoon. Great game that the Steelers won over Washington 28-27. Also going on in the 4 p.m. window, everybody, Arizona Cardinals and, and the New York Jets. The Jets are burnt toast. They are burnt toast. Losing big time, 31-6. to Going to be a 25-point loss for Aaron Rodgers in New York. That pushes them to 3-7 and seven on the year. Aaron Rodgers, struggle, struggle, struggle. Only averaged 4.3 yards per attempt on 22-35 passing, 151 yards. Did not reach the end zone today. Only points on the board, a couple of field goals. And while Aaron Rodgers did that, Kyler Murray just absolutely carved Jeff Ulbricht's defense like a Thanksgiving turkey. 22-24, 266 through the air, a passing touchdown, had a passer rating of 126.7. And Kyler Murray also ran all over the New York defense for two rushing touchdowns as well. Everyone, the one we can't wait for is tonight, Sunday Night Football, one of the games of the year. One of the games of the year, and we will be with you for the post-game pressers for that with Dan Campbell, Jared Goff, C.J. Stroud, D'Amico Ryans on the opposite side for Houston. We will be back later tonight, and we will be with you for a fantastic Sunday night game of post-game reaction with Detroit and Houston. See you then, everybody. God bless. Good night from the Truth Serum.